Leo, your weekly love tarot reading begins with the tower, the devil, the hermit, and justice, all for major arcana. Strong message today. Your person is coming in with the star, two of wands, queen of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. At the bottom of this deck, we have the six of swords. So leaving, turning your back, going away, distance, travel. Some of you may be at a long distance, in a long distance relationship. Right away, there's very heavy energies here, Leo. Let's jump right into your reading. A tower moment and star energy. You are coming in this week with an epiphany. A tower moment is a pretty ser serious moment of understanding that comes in. It's like something happens outside of your control and it really destroys your viewpoint on a lot of things. So you've made a 180 degree turn in terms of your opinion about certain things, in terms about in terms of your sort of understanding of a certain situation. Your person is coming in with star energy. Star energy is the card for Aquarius and Tarot. So some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius, but your person is fully in the throes of realizing their dreams and their goals. Right now, this person that you are in a love connection with, they are focused on only doing what they need to do to further their goals. Working, whatever it is that they're dealing with, it's all in the furtherance of their dream. So whatever they need to prepare, whatever work they need to do, you know, uh, whatever areas in their lives they need to pay attention to and put more energy into, that's what they're doing because their dream is so important to them right now and they're following it. All right, so let's go ahead and pull out some clarifying energies here to see what this is all about. I'm curious about this tower moment. I mean, what is happening with this tower moment? Three of wands and a five of swords. So let me get one more for that. Eight of pentacles. The tower moment is definitely something to do with your work, Leo. In some area of your life, it could be, you know, in your work area of your life. So let me be more specific. In some area of your work life is more to the point. There's an epiphany that has come in, an understanding, a tower moment. It could be that your work, something about your work or the work that you've been doing recently is changed in some way. There's also information coming into you. So it's like you're getting feedback on your work. You may be an artist of some sort, Leo, and you're beginning to get some feedback from your work. And whatever is coming back to you is just absolutely shocking. But a tower moment can be very positive. It doesn't have to be bad. It can indeed be very positive, And it could very well be that the information and feedback you're getting is one that's, that is... Uh, increasing your confidence, whereas up until now, maybe you lacked it. Your person has got five of swords. They're completely done with any kind of arguing, bickering, you know, toxic energy. One of the things that your person is busy with right now in their life in furtherance of their goal or their dream is cutting out all toxicity or fighting. They're just not willing to engage in any of that. Okay, now how do you guys see each other before we move on? Interestingly enough, you see them and you see the devil. So there's something about this person that really, I'm not going to say, it's, it's like, you know, you have an opinion of this person in terms of them being a bad influence, you know what I mean? A bad influence on you, someone who's just in it for themselves, someone who's just really a real slave to their desire, um, that's how you see them. Two of Wands is how they see you. They see you as somebody who just hits it and quits it. Okay. So it's kind of interesting, you know. I feel like this is like a very short-lived relationship, Leo, that you've had with somebody. Part of the tower moment here also could be to do with your person. And as much as you may have some things that have changed about your job or about the money that you're making, et cetera, or how much work you have to put in. And part of this tower moment is finding out that your person is really very much 
embracing that devil energy, that energy of, you know, I'm the only one that matters, my desires, what I want. And, you know, devil literally may care what you want. They see you as somebody who's kind of running off, you know, two of wands, somebody who's like always chasing something else. So this feels like a very short lived, somewhat um, messy, feels like relationship. You're leaving anyway. Six of Swords has come up at the bottom of the deck. So there's a feeling here of you traveling or leaving in any case. There certainly have been a lot of fights here. Your person is not willing to indulge in any of that anymore. Nine of Wands energy. Yeah, they're moving on with their goals. They're not they're not willing to fight with you or argue with you. And they see that you're leaving anyway. They don't, you know, they're like, okay. Nine of Wands comes in for you and King of Cups for them. Yeah, you know, they're really kind of insisting on a certain dynamic here with this king of cups you may be dealing with somebody who is a little bit jealous possessive but they're not really they're not it doesn't feel like they're putting uh, putting a whole lot into this connection they demand a lot but i'm not sure that they're putting a lot in you feel like you're all alone with that nine you know again it feels to me like you're all on your own you're kind of struggling there's a lot of work that you're struggling with in and of itself, you know, to try to make certain things happen. And it just feels like this person here is just not supportive. They're not there. They're not supportive. You're having a difficulty here just kind of achieving what you're wanting to achieve. And I think part of that is also with this individual, Leo, you know. You're finding it difficult to achieve the type of relationship or to achieve the status and relationship that you desire with this person. And again, that wake up call, that tower moment is 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 kind of like giving you that clarity and understanding as to why. Why does this continue to be a struggle? Um, well, because you're dealing with somebody who is very much not not into necessarily sharing right now. You're dealing with somebody who's very much into their own path, what they want to do with their lives. They're not making a whole lot of room for you. Hermit energy and queen of pentacles. This is how you see yourselves in this relationship. You see yourself all alone. And they see themselves as someone who needs to really take care of themselves, their own lives. They're putting a lot of effort into what they care about. And you're kind of walking a path on your own here. It almost feels like this relationship has just fizzled out. It feels very short-lived. There are no cup cards here there, besides the king. There's not a lot of love and affection here. Um, Before we go to these, hold on. Let me go ahead and get some more clarity. Because it doesn't feel like there's a lot of love here. It feels like this relationship was probably all about sex. That's another energy that I'm getting here with this devil. When you see them... They only ever were any good for fun in terms of, you know, fun, like sex, drinking, you know, all of that. That's the part, you know, that's the part that they played for you. You're not really happy with it, though. Again, this feels like a very shallow relationship. You know, when it comes down to it, everybody's out for themselves. When you guys are together, yeah, maybe you have a good time. You drink and maybe you party and sex is good and all that. But that feels, it feels like that's all really there is. You desire a full love connection. Page of Pentacles for your person. They're busy, busy, busy working away on a new connection. I want to say that, yeah, this fizzles out. Your person moves on and you are desiring to move on to something stable with this 10 of cups, you know, somehow that comes out for you after all of this. But that is because mostly because you, you step off and you walk a very sort of solitary path. And as a result of, I think this relationship and some understandings that have come through because of this shallow relationship, you have some more understandings about yourself and you really do some shadow work here. Ultimately does lead you to a path toward solid, strong love. Now we can go to your final possible outcomes. You have justice and they have four pentacles. I think things balance out for you. Karma comes in. You know, justice in a sense that you get what you deserve. Everybody gets what they deserve. And for you, I feel like, Leo, balance comes into your life. 
And whatever karmic price you've had to pay, that kind of gets evened out. Your karma comes back to you. All of the good karma, I'm saying. Okay, that's what I feel. I feel like you have really put a lot of effort in and not gotten much back. And that kind of comes back to your person, Four of Pentacles. They find themselves really without you. And again, I feel like these energies are the energies after you guys break up. But without you, they find themselves struggling a little bit. They find themselves worried about their security. They find themselves worried about this connection. I do think you're the one who leaves. And so as much as they're very selfish and into themselves and their own thing, they also don't necessarily want to see you leave. Spirit of the rabbit, sex, fertility, spirit of armor, defense, tactical, guarded, and spirit of the key, solution, wisdom coming in. Yeah, I do feel, listen, there's an epiphany that comes in about this relationship you are the one who's put a lot of effort in. You're waiting for information to come in about it. But you really just realize that this person is not, they are not the outcome. They are not the sort of love that you're looking for. And ultimately, you find yourself walking a pretty a solitary path, moving away. Some of you actually moving, just up and moving. Dragon. And a tarantula. Well, the tarantula is the animal spirit for the crossroads. It's time to make a decision. And it's and when you're making a decision about the next steps in your life, you want to be very careful. And so the tarantula is the animal spirit for taking your time and being very sort of deliberate about the next moves that you make because you are at a cross, crossroads. And the next moves you make are really going to determine the foreseeable future for you. Dragon energy, ether spirit. The dragon is associated with the solar plexus. It's what drives us. It's, it's you know, our breath and what truly, truly drives us. What we truly desire, but not from a point of view of physicality, like the devil sexually or just pleasure, but our need. Well, who, what do we need? Who do we need, you know? And so this is really, really driving you. And again, I feel like this person is not who you really want and desire. This person is reminding you, Leo, who it is that you really truly want and desire. Because by being with this person in this connection, this revelation that comes into you kind of wakes you up, I think, to who you really are and who you really want. This connection here this is that I feel is over or coming to a close may send you back to someone else who perhaps you did not appreciate. That's what it feels like. It feels like this energy here is really showing you, you know, how, how little you appreciated somebody else in your life who brought so much more to your life because there's really not much being brought here to you. This is a very selfish person, self-centered person. All right, Leo. This is your weekly love tarot reading. I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, or share my channel. And that's it. I'm going to wish you all love, life, and happiness. And I hope to see you next Friday on my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot, for your weekly love tarot reading. Bye-bye now.